Welcome to Watch Crew, your gateway to horological exploration. In this video, we embark on a journey into the world of precision engineering and design, unveiling the best German watch brands for 2023. Join us as we delve into the heritage, craftsmanship, and innovation that define these exceptional timepieces. Let's explore the realm of German watchmaking excellence together. Every once in a while, a timepiece emerges from the saturated watch market that embodies excellence in a compelling way. The Glashütte Original Panamatic Lunar is one such watch. With its standout moon phase complication and exquisite German watchmaking, this watch sets a benchmark for astronomical dress watches. Its dial strays from the norm, adopting an uncommon layout that pays tribute to Glashütte Original's creative design process. Elegant and sophisticated, the Glashütte Original Panamatic Lunar is a timepiece that effortlessly marries tradition and innovation. With a sizable 40mm case available in steel, yellow gold, or rose gold, the watch comfortably asserts its presence on the wrist. Its captivating dial, punctuated by a visually striking off-center hour, minute, and second hands layout, is in homage to the signature Glashütte style. The moon phase complication nestled at 2 o'clock captures the allure of the cosmos, the silver moon and stars perfectly contrasted against a night blue sky. Alongside it is the large deep display, another feature which underscores the brand's commitment to functionality and style. The watch is powered by the automatic caliber 90-2, a superb example of Glashütte watchmaking excellence, with a 42-hour power reserve. This mechanical marvel is visible through the sapphire crystal case back, revealing a classic three-quarter plate, glass shutter ribbing, and double sunburst decoration, a screw balance with 18 weighted screws, and hand engraved balance bridges. However, despite its many strengths, the Glashütte original Panamatic Lunar does have a few drawbacks. The legibility of the dial may be challenging for some, especially due to the off centered layout. The case design, though sleek, may appear somewhat ordinary when compared to other watches in its category. Finally, the power reserve of 42 hours could have been extended to enhance the functionality. These watches are individually serialized, so each one is truly unique. They're designed to be a great gift since they come with custom engravings that you can configure through Stowe's online tool. Since we're right on top of the holidays, it seemed like the perfect time to review the Fligger Classic 36. Let's take a closer look. To anyone with an appreciation for horology, the ETA 2824-2 is a familiar sight. This is a self-winding, hacking automatic movement with a 38-hour power reserve. The ETA 2824-2 was based on the caliber 1247, which was one of the first widely adopted automatic movements to be developed. The major breakthrough with the 1247, or more specifically, its predecessor, the 1237, was that the oscillating weight was mounted on five ball bearings. These bearings keep the movement smooth and help prevent premature wear and tear. The Flieger Classic 36 has a matte black dial with understated markings that leave a clean, classy impression. Individual hashes mark off each minute, with larger hashes at the 5-minute marks. At all positions except 12 and 6 o'clock, you'll find matching white numerals. The font is relatively plain, with a lot of straight lines and no serifs or other decorations. The 12 o'clock position is marked by a triangle, with a small, faint gray Stova logo underneath. The watch case is constructed from stainless steel, with a diameter of 36 mm. At only 10.2 mm thick, the Fligger Classic 36 is large enough to have some wrist presence, but small enough that it feels light while you're wearing it. The lugs are fairly tall, with a lug-to-lug -lug measurement of 44.6 mm. The way the band attaches leaves an attractive bit of negative space between the end of the band and the outer edge of the case. In conclusion, the Stova Fligger Classic is a superbly executed pilot watch that pays homage to its aviation heritage. Its timeless design, reliability, and versatility make it an appealing choice for those who appreciate the simplicity and functionality of classic pilot watches. It's safe to say that any seasoned watch nerd would recognize the Max Bill line from the German brand Junghans. The simple yet distinct design has kept this collection desirable since its first release in 1961. These watches, although not for everyone, are the epitome of mid-century modernism and Bauhaus design. And for once, the previous statement isn't just marketing fluff. 
Max Bill was a student at Bauhaus in Dessau, Germany, and the experience was definitely a formative one. Born in Switzerland in 1908, Max Bill would become one of the prime movers within the modernist design movement in Europe. Eventually, he landed Jonhans as a client, and his involvement left a lasting mark on the German brand, which is still evident in watches like the Jonhans Max Bill chronoscope. Even at first glance, you can immediately tell that the case of the Jonhans Max Bill chronoscope is pure class. It comes in a 40mm perfectly round shape made of scratch resistant stainless steel, coupled with straight, slender lugs that fit nicely around the curve of your wrist. This is also a fairly standard case diameter allowing the Junghens Max Bill chronoscope to fit on wrists of virtually any size. On the inside, the Valju 7000, 750 uses just about every millimeter of available space. As a result, the Max Bill chronoscope wears quite well. It fits under a shirt cuff, even with the large domed plexicrystal on top. Additionally, with this particular case-to-movement ratio, you definitely feel the rotor wobble that the Valju 7000, 750 is known for. Personally, I quite enjoy this movement and have many watches powered by it. It reminds you you're wearing something mechanical, and it makes my inner idiot savant smile every time it happens. In short, the Young Hens Max Bill Chronoscope isn't for everyone, but it certainly is for people like me. It's a simple watch with nothing to hide, and I have enjoyed wearing it immensely. Despite the very unrestrained colors, the M27Cs is in traditional territory for the Glashuth watchmaker. They've been making a name for themselves with robust, functional watches for years. They produced Flieger chronographs to the Luftwaffe's exacting specification in 1941, powered by the Europa 59 caliber, and the German Army's pilots wear the M2 NATO chronograph today. There's the later military chronograph with the wonderfully solid Laminia 5100 tractor engine inside. The M2 series of watches is carrying on the tradition, but in titanium, so despite the 44mm size, you won't feel as though you're weight training every time you check the time. Despite being light, the case is certainly well protected. The crown has shoulders like a Welsh prop forward. There's a screw-down crown and a screw-in back giving you a stonking 50 atom, that's 498 atom deep, give or take a few centimeters of water resistance. The pool at your local baths will feel like a puddle to the Tudema. Its depth tolerance is aided by an anti-reflective sapphire crystal that's 3mm thick, so it should survive pretty much whatever you throw it at without too many worries. As you'd expect, the bezel is unidirectional and doubles very usefully as a basic timer without the need for the exactness of a chronograph. Inside the case is, in common with other watches in the M2 series, Tudema's gold-sealed self-winding cal, 330 movement, base ETA 2836. It's simple with minimal frills, but none the worse for it. You get central seconds, hours and minutes and a day and date at a very traditional 3 o'clock. The movement runs at 28,800 beats per hour and will happily keep on doing so for 38 hours without intervention. Spares and servicing shouldn't be an issue either. It's not likely that many M2s will see hardcore diving action, but that's not really the point. The things that make a diving watch capable at depth are exactly the same things that are useful in everyday life. Ease of reading in light or dark, robustness, waterproofing, and an almost complete lack of worry about breaking anything. You're probably not going to wear it with the tox, but for an everyday, do anything, go anywhere watch that'll make you smile every time you look at it, it's a bit of a beauty. The Rescue Timer is a mainstay in Mula Glasuto's collection of incredibly functional and robust watches, purpose-built for the German Maritime Search and Rescue Association. And while most of us will never need a watch to stand up to the rigors of a rescue operation in the tumultuous North Sea, it's always nice to know you're wearing a watch that will stand up to much more than you'll ever need it to. The original SAR Rescue Timer, which was produced in collaboration with the DGZRS, came with a black dial and oversized luminous markers. With its newest iteration of the no classic SAR Rescue Timer, Mula Glasuda has flipped the script with a fully loomed dial set off by oversized black markers and skeletonized black hands. With a watch like the SAR Rescue Timer, it's hard to pinpoint the most distinctive feature. Is it the uber-legible monochromatic dial, or the distinctive case shape with hooded lugs and rubberized bezel? Tough call, but I'll start with the case as it's really unlike anything else out there. Built from stainless steel, the SAR Rescue Timer measures in at 42mm. However, that measurement is a bit deceptive. 
The case tapers from the case back to the crystal rather than having straight slab sides, so on the wrist, the watch appears visibly smaller than 42 mm. This effect is compounded by the black rubberized bezel framing the dial. Add in a 20 mm strap and the effect is a watch that wears smaller and more comfortably than its dimensions would suggest. So, who is this watch for? Well, technically the German Maritime Search and Rescue Association, but you certainly don't need to be spending your days rescuing errant sailors from certain doom to enjoy the SAR Rescue Timer. If you appreciate the aesthetics of this piece, either on their own merit or because of the functional considerations that led to this unique look, then this is a watch that certainly won't let you down when it comes to the rough and tumble.